Why are rented real estate cheaper than the free ones? I can tell you that. Um, there's a tenant already inside, right? So it's hard to increase the rent over here right away. Okay, so typical example is Berlin, right? We have that problem with the meat price plans in Berlin. So that means you cannot increase old contracts, um, which is kind of a pain to be honest and uh, yeah they're cheaper because there is a tenant already it depends how long 10 15 20 years so it's harder if you're having a vacant property and you say okay i'm just gonna focus probably on young professionals or do a contract for three years um, then it's just easier be because you can charge the actual rent right now okay so you can in Munich, you can go up to 35 euros or more mm -hmm. per square meter. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I even saw 145 euros per square meter. Yeah, I think in, in the U-Bahn, they had it uh, that the average is 19 something. It's it's gone. Yeah. Like, yeah, I mean, average, yeah, but it's, um, yeah. So this is a good part if you're having a, a free one. And even if you want to sell it, because this is what I get asked, frequently um what if i sell it the property has to be free if it has to be free then i can sell it for more yeah probably but if you did your increasement right within the years every three years and you're having a great rent then you can still um sell it for a good price it doesn't have to be mandatory free or vacant but yeah that's that's actually the one so look at everything also look at the tenant look at the tenant how long um I know it's probably a little bit too personal, even if it's an uh, investment, but you want to know. You're buying the property. You want to know who's living there. What is, the, uh, what is the tenant doing? And you can see all this in the rental contract. Yeah. So.